Tornadoes form not all the time during thunderstorms, less than 10% of the time, which is a small sample size, which is why we're not able to say more confidently that there's a direct link between climate change and tornadoes, but all the evidence is pointing in that direction. The idea is that now that we have warmer temperatures, we are seeing that combination of warmer air that you have, and then you have drier air coming over it, and that creates this updraft which results, if you have then wind instability, can then result in tornadoes. And again, that doesn't happen all the time, but increasingly, as we're seeing warmer temperatures throughout longer periods of time across, uh, throughout the year, now we are seeing the increased likelihood and frequency of tornadoes forming. And the United States has the most tornadoes of any country in the world, so it's no surprise that we're going to see that increase in tornadoes taking place in this country. This tornado season concept is going to become increasingly all year round. This is what we anticipate with the planet warming. We're seeing that to be true with wildfires. We're seeing it to be true with drought and access to water. We're seeing it to be true with hurricanes and heavy precipitation events. So these impacts of climate change are all following this similar pattern of increased frequency intensity, and it is, yes, linked to climate change.